Tomo News presents Self-Driving Vehicles. Technology puts autonomous vehicles in the driving seat. A future in which self-driving vehicles travel our roads is edging closer as automakers introduce an ever-increasing range of innovations to their cars. One example of smart car technology is Ford's blind spot warning system. Radar sensors in the tail light detect other vehicles in the driver's blind spot and trigger a warning light in the side mirrors when it's unsafe to change lanes. Those radar sensors also detect oncoming vehicles when the vehicle is backing out of a parking spot. Other parking assistants already on the market include a feature in several Ford models that tells the driver when to hit the accelerator or brake. Meanwhile, some BMW drivers can already park their cars by pushing a button on a key fob. Today's cars use radar, sonar, cameras, or a combination of all three for active cruise control. This feature allows the car to drive autonomously at a fixed speed or at the speed of the vehicle in front, slowing down and speeding up automatically. However, the vehicle will emit a warning if the driver needs to take evasive action. The technology preps the brakes and will even brake automatically if the driver doesn't react in time. Some Mercedes cars can tell the difference between a four-legged and a two-legged obstacle and will brake harder for people. Cameras in today's cars can be used to detect lane markings and warn drivers to stay in their lane. This is designed to help tired drivers but in practice often applies to those who are texting on their cell phones. If lane warnings aren't heated, this technology can steer the car back into the correct lane by hitting the brakes or turning the steering wheel. Tesla's electric cars are already capable of driving on autopilot and changing lanes without the driver's input. In the near future, we should expect to see traffic jam autopilot, which will allow drivers to take their hands off the wheel in heavy traffic and let the car do the work. Looking further ahead, automakers are working on autonomous valet parking, which will see cars drop passengers off, find their own parking space, then pick the passengers up when summoned by smartphone. However, we are still quite some time away from when every vehicle on the road is an autonomous one. But thanks to advances made by automakers, that day hopefully isn't too far away. Car journeys are going to be so much fun in the future. Tech giant Panasonic has unveiled its futuristic vision for an autonomous car cabin. The Panasonic Autonomous Car Cabin has four seats that can face each other, arranged around a centerpiece interactive digital display system. Each seat has an individual display screen table that allows passengers to map the journey, play games, or read information. The four screens can also combine into a single table with a bigger screen. The interior trim of the cabin is made of plastic smart materials that display information and can change to look like wood, metal, or leather. Augmented reality windows can display information about the car's surroundings, such as landmarks and points of interest. Meanwhile, each seat has a personal audio zone with speakers integrated into the headrests. Facial recognition technology identifies the driver and will only permit registered drivers to take control of the vehicle. Should the driver choose to take the wheel, an eight-camera system feeds into an augmented reality display in the windshield to aid navigation. Panasonic's design was revealed at tech trade show CES 2017 in Las Vegas. According to the company, the plans are still a work in progress. But Panasonic hopes the concept will give people an idea of what the autonomous car of the future might look like. Self-driving Google car involved in serious crash. A Google self-driving Lexus SUV was involved in a collision on September 23rd that destroyed its front passenger door. The accident took place at the intersection of Phyllis Avenue and El Camino Real in Mountain View, California. Google said the traffic light had been green for at least six seconds before its self-driving Lexus entered the intersection. Another car traveling westbound on El Camino Real ran a red light and crashed into the right side of the self-driving car. No one was hurt in the accident. Google is testing its fleet of 58 self-driving cars in three other locations, including Kirkland, Phoenix, and Austin. Who's driving? 
No steering wheel and no pedals? What's the point of driving then? It's still pretty cool though. GM is asking the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration for permission to test self-driving vehicles without steering wheels by 2019. The fourth-generation Cruise AV has no steering wheel, no pedals, no manual controls, and no driver. The self-driving vehicle will be used for ride-hailing, not personal use. If granted approval, GM could deploy more test vehicles in cities across the U.S. Currently, only seven states allow testing of vehicles with no steering wheel or pedals. And on the plus side, in the future, no more fights with your Uber driver. And uh, how would you like your pizza to be delivered? Ford and Domino's are launching a research trial using self-driving Ford cars to deliver pizzas to customers in Michigan. Ford Fusion Hybrid Autonomous Cars will be fitted with heat wave compartments that are designed to keep the pizzas warm en route. Random customers in Ann Arbor will be given the option to choose the self-driving pizza delivery. Customers can track their order through an app. They would then walk out to the parked car and retrieve the pizza from the compartment using a unique code. Domino's tested its Domino's robotic unit in Australia and New Zealand last year. The company announced earlier this year that the robots will be used to deliver pizzas to customers in Germany and the Netherlands. Self-driving bus launches and crashes two hours later. The driverless electric shuttle bus made a big bang in its debut in Vegas on Wednesday. Unfortunately, the bang came in the form of an accident after only two hours of being in service. The driverless shuttle is designed to communicate with traffic signals and share the road with other vehicles while stopping for pedestrians. It looks like the shuttle was minding its own business around 12.07 p.m. on Wednesday when it sensed a truck was attempting to back up, so it came to a stop. Problem is, the truck kept backing up until it gave the shuttle a little love tap. The truck driver ended up getting a ticket for illegal backing. In the end, damage was minor and neither of the drivers were hurt. Self-driving boats to sail on Amsterdam's canals by 2017. In a collaboration with researchers at MIT, the Amsterdam Institute for Advanced Metropolitan Solutions is currently developing autonomous boats. Row Boat is the first large-scale research project that will put self-driving boats on water as early as 2017. The first prototype, a flatbed 6 by 6 foot design, was created for basic transportation of people and goods through Amsterdam's many canals. The flatbed boats can also be utilized as on-demand bridges that can be assembled within hours to relieve traffic congestion. Researchers are also looking at other designs where the device could assist in underwater research and help detect waterborne diseases at an early stage. The rowboats could also potentially help clean canal waters by picking up floating debris or waste. The project is currently being backed with 27 million US dollars and researchers are hoping the autonomous boats can be used in cities across the world. Singapore to test self-driving trucks. Singapore has announced a partnership with Toyota and Scania to develop and test a self-driving truck platooning system that can transport goods between its shipping ports. The truck platooning system involves a human-driven truck leading a convoy of autonomous trucks by wireless communication. The trucks can be coupled or decoupled to allow other cars to cross between the vehicles. The trucks are also equipped with vehicle detection and anti-collision technologies. The initial test route is a 10-kilometer stretch along the West Coast Highway. Singapore, which is fully devoted to developing self-driving technologies, conducted the world's first public trials of self-driving taxis in August. MIT develops imaging system that sees through fog. Well, would you look at that? MIT researchers have developed an imaging system that can peer through fog. One of the main challenges to the development of self-driving navigation systems that use visible light is their inability to handle misty or foggy driving conditions. The system uses a time-of-flight camera, which emits short laser bursts at objects and then counts how long it takes for the light to bounce back. Fog normally scatters laser light, which is problematic for autonomous vehicles. But thanks to an algorithm developed by the scientists, the system can find patterns in the scattered light to calculate distance. The goal is to eventually integrate the system into autonomous vehicles so that even in bad weather, self-driving cars can avoid obstacles. 
Researchers tested the system in fog much denser than cars would encounter in the real world. They found that the system performed even better than human vision. Ford unveils self-driving van equipped with delivery drones. Ford has introduced its concept for an autonomous van that is able to send out delivery drones at the 2017 Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. The Ford Auto Delivery Concept is an electric self-driving van with deployable quadrocopter drones that can pick up and drop off packages at a person's residence. The service starts with a customer placing an order through a mobile application. Packages would then be loaded into compartments on the autonomous van. Next, the auto delivery van would drive to the customer's residence, where he or she could pick up the package from the van. But if the customer needs a package delivered, the package would be moved to the top of the van, where onboard drones would be able to access them. The drones would then fly the package to the residence and drop it off at a designated landing pad. Ford envisions the end-to-end -end delivery service could be used for things such as online shopping orders, weekly groceries, and medical supplies. 